Hey, uh, this is downstate Kentucky. We have new tornado warnings. And uh, go ahead and put the uh, next red radar up in here. We've been tracking some uh, monster thunderstorms across southern Kentucky. And uh, there it is right here, this line of severe thunderstorms producing possible tornadoes. Greene County, including Greensburg, you are now under a new tornado warning. You've had one in the past. You have a new warning. Taylor County, that's the Campbellsville area. You now have a tornado warning. This is in effect until 8 o'clock. Metcalf County, which got hit earlier at the fairgrounds, now under a new tornado warning, uh, a double whammy there, and Adair County also under a tornado warning. Uh, it appears uh, a couple of towns uh, that appear to be directly in the path of possible tornadoes, Columbia and Campbellsville. Again, residents of Adair, Green, Metcalf, Taylor counties, you need to take cover immediately. Possible tornadoes are in your area. Craig, uh, what, anything new you have for us there? Everything uh, still about the same, John. We're still watching okay. the tower cam. We're getting some very vivid lightning that's showing up down here that's uh, uh, just in the downtown area right now. I just briefly went outside to check and see what conditions were like here, and uh, the winds uh, haven't picked up that much, although we're getting very heavy rain here at the weather station right now, and it looks like over the next few minutes we will continue to see that. Once again, our radar may not look as ominous at this point because we're getting that heavy rain out there, and it starts to blank out part of the signal that we uh, send out and it should return back in and it's not able to do that because the rain is coming in so heavily at this point uh, in the downtown area so it doesn't look quite as bad as it really is out there although the uh, heavy rain looks like it's going to continue for the next few minutes the next rad still showing those heavy showers and thunderstorms out there alan and jack you're standing by with more information yeah we have jim mitchell on the line from trimble county let's go to jim right now jim are you there Apparently, he may have gotten cut off right. uh, just a moment ago. That's just along the river, so they, they could have had some damage there. said we there. had some, uh, some winds there. Uh, Jackie, I was speaking with uh, the radio station down in Brandenburg, Kentucky, a while ago, and I think John and Craig reported this, that they had 60-mile-an-hour winds. They clocked that at the radio station uh, in Brandenburg, and they were sending the police out to along Highway 60 there because they thought they may have some more damage. You remember, that's where we had the damage Sunday night. That's right. And uh, they were really concerned there. They hadn't had a chance to get out and check it out yet. And but. we had gotten some calls about Grayson County, but apparently in Grayson County tonight, they were going through tornado drills. Uh -huh. <laughs> sort and of practicing. They didn't want the real thing, but it, it got close. It's amazing it. how many telephone calls we have received in the newsroom. We have about uh, 10 or 12 people back there now, and our phones have been lit up from the time uh, the warning started coming in at about 6.15, actually. One of our employees here who works the overnight shift had called in, and he said that he noticed, and I think Greg, I'm not sure where Greg Leslie lives, uh, said that he spotted a funnel cloud. I'm not sure if he said it touched down or not. But we, it's very common, it seems like, more than any time I remember, where people are, are seeing funnel clouds. Of course, we're all looking skyward. We've had a bad week already. Uh -huh. We're on an edge, and it's sort of ready for this to all be over. You know, and I, as I mentioned a moment ago, uh, it's reminiscent of the uh, severe weather that broke out. We had all the tornadoes in Kentucky that, that almost paralleled I-65, both in southern Indiana and down through uh, Glasgow, Barron County, and Cave City. And I wasn't here in Louisville at the time, but I well remember uh, the damage, of course, that, that occurred here in Louisville. Uh, and all along 65, from Horse mm -hmm. Cave, Cave City, up through E-Town, uh, it, was, it, was it was a terrifying night. Hopefully, we can escape this one with, uh, with minor damage. Even though we've had some funnel clouds sighted, we haven't uh, had any uh, major reports of damage as of yet. It's amazing with as much color on the radar screen as we have seen. And we've been making calls uh, through the newsroom. I mean, you look at radar now, and we will call the dispatchers in those areas to just check on them and say, how are you doing? Any damage? And it's amazing. Most of it's been a lot of wind, a lot of rain, but fortunately, and, and tornado sightings, yeah. but no damage to well, speak of, course, of, and that's good. And I'm no other person, but the thing that, uh, that stands out to me is the fact that we uh, have warmed up so quickly. It seems like we go from cool weather to warm weather. And uh, then when the warm weather sets in, we seem to have a, an outbreak of tornadoes. And we have another caller uh, right okay. now, Troy Paget, Fort Knox area, sirens going off there. Troy, what can you tell us? Well, it's, it's pretty dark out here. The wind's going pretty good. And uh, the sirens, they were off about five minutes, and now they've just kicked back on. Uh, you... I live on the other side of the high school. The, the high school wasn't hit all that bad, but the tennis courts was when the storm came by the last time. Uh -huh. Have you spotted anything at all that would uh, lend itself to the appearance of a funnel cloud? Well, my neighbor Doug and I, we was out there, and he was taking a picture of it, and it was forming up from the, uh, I guess it would be the south end of Fort Knox, and uh, then it just dissipated away. Sure, we can hear the sirens in the background. Right now, we're going to check back in with John Belsky for another weather update. John? Okay, uh, we just heard this on the police scanner, uh, police reporting this. Uh, we, again, uh, we can't confirm it yet, but a tornado touchdown at Shelbyville Road and Fairfax, that's in St. Matthews. I uh, don't know... 
Uh, if that was how long ago that was, evidently just within the last couple of minutes. But uh, a possible tornado touchdown in the St. Matthews area, Shelbyville Road, and Fairfax. And Craig, do you have anything to for us? Here? We've got a new warning. I think it's coming in right now, John. Thank you, Charles. Uh, this is for Estelle County in East Central Kentucky. Uh, it, this is out of the Lexington office, too, as a matter of fact. Radar indicated possible tornado 5 to 10 miles northeast of Berea, moving to the east at about 30 miles per hour. Uh, should be uh, moving into Irvine by, Irvine by about 7.30. So that's a tornado warning for Estill County, and that's in east central Kentucky. So that's that same line that we're watching uh, just to the east of the Lexington area. And once again, it's beginning to fire up in those areas, too. So. There's possibility of more warnings coming out over there over the next few minutes. We want to uh, remind our viewers, uh, if you've spotted any storm damage in your area, if you can call our newsroom, 561-4150, 561-4150. I know our phone, I was just back there a second ago, our phone lines are all jammed. We have people phoning in the storm reports, and we're monitoring the police scanners, and we're talking with the police and everything. But, uh, uh, you know, if they can keep trying to get through, if you have some important information uh, that you need to pass along there, uh, relay it to us, relay it to your local law enforcement agency, but uh, you know, we need to get this very important information out on the air if you have uh, spotted a tornado or if you have any reports of damage. Okay, we've got a caller on the, nine, 